Hi everyone, welcome to Sock Season Week 13, December 24th through 30th, 2023. I'm Carol, host of A Stitch in Time, and I can be found on Ravelry as Knits and Pearls. The holidays are a time when many of us get to enjoy treats that we don't have at any other time of year. And this week's collection of socks is a reminder of some of those holiday treats. Now, picture this, it's Christmas Eve, Santa has loaded his last present into the sleigh and has taken off for his trip around the world. What do you think the elves are doing? Partying it up, of course. These are my, the elves were in the eggnog socks. This is a uh, yarn from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. It's the bedazzled base in the the eggs, no, the eggs, <laughs> the elves were in the eggnog colorway. I swear I have not been in the eggnog. This is one of my all time favorite colorways from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. I fell in love with it the first time I ever saw it on her uh, podcast. And I was unable to get my hands on a skein until one year I actually set an alarm to get up in time for the, I believe it was the Black Friday sale and uh, was thrilled to score a skein. So these I knit in December and January of 2017 and 18 and they are top down plain vanilla sock with a short row heel and rounded toe I'm not sure if the lighting will pick up oh yes you can see the beautiful sparkle in there because everything's better with sparkle that's actually a pretty good uh afterthought heel sometimes i have issues with my corner there but these turned out pretty well and I just love wearing these socks. So these will be my Christmas Eve socks for this year. Okay, I admit I'm stretching it a bit, including this next pair of socks in this week's theme of holiday treats, but they do feature a Christmassy colorway and the pattern was based on a sweet treat. So I simply call these Christmas socks. <laughs> And they are the Fruit Stripe Gum Socks featuring a spiral rib by Leah Oakley. I knit these back in December of 2017 for the Grocery Girls Sock Bash. And even though this is not technically a Christmas colorway, it definitely has a Christmassy feel. This is yarn from uh, Regia. It's part of their Arna and Carlos design line series. And this is colorway, let me find it on my notes, uh, 3760 Garden. And then I have used some West Yorkshire spinners in cayenne pepper for coordinating heels. So I'm going to bring these in a little closer so you can see this spiral rib pattern on the leg. It is not difficult to knit, uh, but it really adds a lot of interest to a self-striping or self-patterning yarn. And because it's not just a plain vanilla sock, I've actually filmed a little clip of me modeling these so you can see how they look when I'm wearing them. these socks and I'm going to be wearing them on Christmas Day. I really should knit myself another pair. It's just a really fun uh, way to uh, add some interest to a self-striping yarn. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Sugar plums must be pretty extraordinary if they are filling the dreams of the children on Christmas Eve. 
These are my sugar plumbed socks and they're pretty extraordinary too. This is another beautiful holiday colorway by Fiber Nymph Dye Works. This time it's on the bronzed sparkle base. And I used a coordinating mini skein of Merlot to knit Eye of Partridge heels. Other than that, it's my usual top-down 64 stitch sock with a rounded toe. Let me bring these in closer so you can see this lovely colorway. I really like the sort of Victorian palette rather than a traditional uh, red and green. So yes, I will be wearing these on Boxing Day this year. No Christmas would be complete without candy canes. This is one of the West Yorkshire Spinners Christmas colorways on their signature four ply base. And I used cayenne pepper for coordinating heels and toes. Other than that, once again, it's my usual top down 64 stitch sock with a rounded toe. And these are very traditional red and green colors and very uh, cheerful to wear at this time of year. And what could be better than sugar plums and candy canes? More sugar plums, of course, especially when they're delivered by a fairy. <laughs> I call these my sugar plum fairy maiden socks. This is the fairy maiden pattern by this handmade life. And I knit them earlier this year from some yarn from Sweet Fiber Yarns. I received this super sweet sock as part of last year's uh, holiday sock club. And uh, this is the Sugar Plum Dance colorway. So once again, because this is not just a plain vanilla sock, I will model this pair for you on my feet. Look what a lovely stitch pattern and such a gorgeous dusky lavender color. I think these are very, very pretty. together over the holidays we draw names and exchange small gifts after dinner and we call this tradition Christmas pie. So when Lisa of Fiber Nymph Dye Works released a Christmas pie colorway I knew I had to get myself a skein and these are the socks that I knit from it. So Fiber Nymph Dye Works pie colorways are a series of non-repeating stripes and the dyeing of them is based on the numbers in pi. So for instance, the first three numbers in pi are 3.14. And so this first stripe, red, is three times longer than the second stripe, which is one. And then the third stripe is four times longer than the second stripe, which is one. So three, one, four. And if there so happens to be a zero that comes up in the sequence, which there is, that color is eliminated from the sequence. And that really threw me for a loop the, when I knit these socks. So if you look here, there would normally be a light stripe that comes between this green and brown, but because the number was zero, there was no stripe. Brilliant. Anyway, these are fun, obviously fun Christmas colors. The lighter colors are not as distinctly different as they were when I first uh, knit these socks. The colors have uh, run a little bit over the years and, and have probably picked up dye from other socks that they were washed with. But um, this color, and this color actually two 
two distinct colors. <laughs> anyway, that's it bother me. I, I love the Christmassy colors and I will be wearing these socks to our annual family get together on the 29th. When I cast on these socks back in April of 2012, I was inspired to do so because the colorway reminded me of roses. And the name of this sock pattern is Veil of Rosebuds by Anne Hansen. However, the colorway is actually called Peppermint Bark. And you can see from the little red and green speckles that it does look very much like Peppermint Bark, a delicious confection that's available around the holidays. This yarn is from Cakewalk Yarns, who is unfortunately no longer dying, and it's the FTSE base. At the time that I acquired this skein, I did not realize that it was a hard to get and much sought after colorway. So I feel very fortunate to have acquired a skein and to have uh, knit such beautiful socks with it. So even though in my mind originally these were roses, <laughs> socks based on roses, I now do include them with my holiday and winter socks. And that brings sock season week 13 to an end. Is there anyone else who feels the need to go brush their teeth after thinking about all of those holiday treats? Uh, and full disclosure, I have never seen nor eaten a sugar plum, but if you have, will you please let me know if they are as delicious as I imagine them to be? Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe, and if you would like to see more knitting and crafting, be sure to check out regular episodes of A Stitch in Time. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays to all, and I will see you next on New Year's Eve. Take care until then.